Oh, we got an egg hatch. Let's see what it is. Dun, 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 dun. Go on, make it be clever. Oh, God, a caterpie. Hello, everybody. I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to the channel today. Some very exciting Pokemon Go news. So today on the Twitter and on YouTube as well, before it got taken down by Pokemon themselves. There was a brand new trailer released and a blog post made about Gen 2 of Pokemon Go. It is coming this week. And what's interesting about the title of the post, it says, Our world is expanding, over 80 more Pokemon coming, and new features too. So, obviously, we've got things like the baby Pokemon already out. And then I'm hoping that it's only the legendaries that are going to be excluded from that 20 that are missing from the new 100. So, what we'll do is we're going to dive into this blog post. And then afterwards, we're going to go through the list of Gen 2 Pokemon and figure out how many of them are either in the game already or we don't think are going to come in straight away. Things like Entai, Suicune, all those guys. So let's get straight into it. I'm not going to watch this because I don't want this video getting taken down. But the blog post reads the following. Trainers. Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, and many more Pokemon are nearly here. Starting later this week, which is really annoying for me because I'm away in Ireland from Friday until Sunday. So if they, if they do drop over the weekend, you won't see a video until Monday. Just a heads up on that. You'll have the opportunity to catch more than 80 originally discovered Pokemon from the Johto region from Pokemon Gold and Silver. We've also implemented some new features to enhance your Pokemon Go experience. So you might think this little paragraph is just going to be me reading the same thing again, but there's a little something in there that might interest you. So it says more than 80 Pokemon that were originally discovered in the Johto region in Pokemon Gold and Silver video games, as well as Pokemon with gender-specific variations, will start rolling out in Pokemon Go. Does that mean breeding might be on the horizon? Maybe! Anyway, new evolutions. There are now more opportunities to evolve your Pokemon in Pokemon Go than ever before. Some Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region will soon be able to evolve into Pokemon that inhabit the Johto region. So as a little heads up on things like that, we're going to go through the full list anyway, but we got things like Espeon and Umbreon coming from Eevees, Crobat, Politoed, Slowking, there's loads of them. So be on the lookout for new Pokemon evolution items at Pokestops, which you'll need to evolve some Pokemon. So does that mean that we won't be evolving things like a Slowbro into a Slowking? by just doing the normal candy system. We're actually going to need maybe a separate item like a Kingstone in order to make it happen. I wonder. New encounter gameplay. So it doesn't really give too much information here about this. I'm interested to see how it works. I hope it's something more than just a couple different ways that they jump around the screen. I want something really substantial here. But it says, when you encounter Pokemon in the wild, don't be surprised if they react in new ways as you're trying to catch them. You'll also notice the addition of the new item carousel that allows you to select berries and Pokemon directly from the encounter screen, which is... Perfect. Right, next up, berries. So Pokemon enjoy eating berries and you'll have the opportunity to get two new berries by spinning the photo disc at Pokestops. Now, nap berries and pinap berries, or pineap and nanab, however you want to pronounce those. So giving a Pokemon and a nap berry will actually slow its movement speeds, making it easier to catch the Pokemon. And then as well as that, we've got the pinap berry, and this is the cool one. It doubles the amount of candy you'll receive if on your next catch attempt, you succeed. So there's a couple of little things I want to touch on inside of this. So it says the a nab berry will slow its movements making it easier to catch but that doesn't sound too dissimilar to the raspberries function at the moment both of them make the pokemon easier to catch whether then a nab berry is going to be more powerful in terms of like it will increase your chances more so than a raspberry or could you potentially use both of them to double your chances that's the main thing that i want to see as soon as possible is if you can use different kinds of berries at the same time i'm going to assume it's only going to be one berry at a go like so for each pokemon ball throw you can only use one a nab berry or one raspberry or whatever a berry in between each of those and then when it comes to the pinap berry if we have another event like we've just had the valentine's one are we going to be getting quadruple candy does that make sense so on events where we get double candy can we also double that double that would be nuts quadruple candy for everyone and then a nice little end to the blog post says new avatars and expanded wardrobe now you'll be able to give your avatar a complete upgrade customize your look with a whole new selection of hats shirts pants and other items so potentially they're giving us more options Options to customize our characters because maybe trading is on its way soon maybe they'll want everyone's characters to try and look as different as possible when you start meeting so many other trainers that's just total speculation and probably completely wrong but i like the idea so the blog post or the trailer don't give you any idea as to when this update is going to drop all we have is later this week so obviously it's going to be as late as sunday but a lot of people think it's going to be on friday because one we'll get the whole weekend to play the game and two that's typically when other pokemon go updates have dropped in the past so let's go through the full list of pokemon 
Pokemon that are in Generation 2. Some of these I won't have seen for years, so I'm quite excited about this. And we're going to cherry pick out all the Pokemon we don't think are going to be in the initial, like, batch that are pushed out. So I'm talking legendaries, babies that are already out, things like that, to see if we can figure out what this 20 missing from the 100 are. So we've got Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium, all the usual starters you should expect. Hutu, Noctowl, Ladybird, and Ladian. Crobat is going to be an interesting one because Crobat is obviously a Pokemon that we're going to be able to evolve uh, from already existing Pokemon. So be sure to keep hold of that Zubat candy. So we've got our first three. We've got Pichu, Cleffa, Iglybuff, Togepi, and Togetic. So that's five Pokemon that are already in the base game. So that's already a quarter of the ones that we're expecting. Natu and Zaytu. Ampharos is, I think, going to be quite a popular one. I really love Blossoms and also Pika Blue as well. Does everyone remember when Marrow was first shown off? Yeah years and years and years ago just before silver and gold so many rumors about that and like how you could get it in like the first blue and red games it was crazy pseudo i definitely want one of these like that pokemon i just resonated with back in the day i absolutely loved it and then we've got polytoads so this one's going to be interesting because obviously this only evolves when you give it a king's rock and you train it as a poly whirl so there's kind of like two or three things inside of there that could sort of tease towards future things for pokemon go the first thing of course is trading we need to be able to trade it in order to to get it to evolve the second thing is the king's rocks so obviously that's a brand new item it mentioned it in the blog post that we're probably going to start finding those at poker stops and i don't know how rare the king's rocks are going to be i feel like they're going to be pretty hard to come by i think you're going to get one in every blue moon or something and you're going to end up coming across one completely by chance when you least expect it so that'll be interesting to see the frequency of that item and then the third thing which they may or may not do it depends how they want to go with this they could either say just straight up give a king's rock to a poly world to evolve it or if they want to stick to the original games they would have to give it to the poly world to hold so getting pokemon to hold items would be really interesting does that mean that we could then start giving our pokemon berries to take into combat with them and stuff like that there's loads of potential hop hip skip loon jump luff apom god i forgot about him yanma whooper goddamn quagsire <laughs> that's good uh espion and umbreon i can't wait for those i've got like 100 plus candy at the moment slow king again we're gonna have to sort him out with a king's rock aren't we and then trade him unknown it was the Pokemon that I thought was the reason for like the 80, but it's not. It's because obviously they all just come under the same Pokedex entry of 201. Gligar, again, is another interesting Pokemon which kind of teases at potential new features, but it seems like it might be a little bit overcomplicated for them to implement. Because if you remember, Gligar basically needs to be holding a Razor Fang, that's the item, um, and it has to level up during the night. So are they going to make use of the day night cycle like they do in real life? Because the game goes from light to dark whenever the time changes. Again, that's another feature that might just be way too intense for Pokemon Go for people new to the franchise. So they may just simplify it down to candy. Steelix and Caesar are both going to be interesting because obviously they both require Metal Coat and to be holding and to be trading to evolve. Heracross. Oh my god, I forgot about Heracross. I loved him back in the day, actually. Heracross was awesome. Swinner, Pillar Swine, loads of guys inside of here. Skarmory is going to be a popular one. I saw people on the Pokemon Go subreddit going nuts for that one. Uh, we got a Kingdra. That's obviously going to evolve from the first gen and he of course requires the dragon scale uh, porygon too which is pretty cool so i actually caught like three porygon this morning on the way into work smeargle hitmontop smoochum elected and magby are already all in the game so that's our six our seven and our eight mill tank blissey and uh, blissey is going to be important as well because today's the last day of the valentine's event so if you haven't yet load up pokemon go you might just find some well not blissey's but chances you know what i mean all right so we then we got raiko Entei and Suicune may cut up to 11 Pokemon that we wouldn't expect to see in the new version. And then, of course, we've got Lugia, Ho-Oh, Celebi is not going to be in there either. So that still leaves us six Pokemon short of our total value of 20 that aren't going to feature in the game immediately. And I've gone through, I had a little look at this article over here, over at Pokemon DB, and I think it is going to be the Pokemon that require items to hold and to trade that aren't going to be in the game straight away because it makes out the other six. So, of course, you've got Politoed with King's Rock, You've got Slowking with a King's Rock. You've got Steelix with the Metal Coat, which is three. You've then got Kingdra with the Dragon Scale, four. We've got Caesar with the Metal Coat, five. And then finally, I completely forgot that Porygon 2 actually doesn't evolve unless you give it an upgrade and then trade it out. So that's your sixth one. And then all these other Pokemon, I don't believe, live in the second generation. So I think we might have just sussed it out. So I could be completely wrong on that, but that's just my speculation for the meanwhile. If you do happen to see the answer online somewhere, if you know for a fact for yourself, 
yourself or if you've got any theories about it then do let me know in the comment section below and also as well are you coming back to pokemon go come on it's fun we've got a second generation of pokemon i'm super excited i want to make some more videos on it as and when i find and capture new pokemon i think it's been really really cool i might even do a special challenge with somebody from the office where we go out in bristol we try and see how many gen 2 pokemon we can catch in the space of a single hour i think that might be a little bit of fun so let me know all that stuff down below thank you so much for watching this video click the annotation on the screen if you want to see anything more from this channel related to pokemon or pokemon go and i'll see you next time bye bye